The time has finally come to make a review. So, um, I want to first of all say I apologize for the birds chirping and the door slamming and everything else that's going on in, the, in this video other than me and the guitar and you. In today's video, we're we'll reviewing the Dime Razorback 7 string. Put your panties on tight, boys and girls. It's going to be a wild one. So, um, the first thing I want to say is that um, the Razorback it, and Dimebag Daryl don't really go with the seven string motif for the sheer fact is that the seven string guitar is invented for DeGent and if you know who Stevie T is or Jared Dines, um, you know, I'm sorry, but go check out their channels and they'll explain to you what DeGent is, but um, seven string guitars and Dimebag Daryl don't really go well together, just the same way that I feel that I play perfectly fine on a six string guitar and a seven string guitar is something that's completely different than a seven string guitar is but we'll talk about that in the video look at this motherfucker it looks like it's like i mean i say the batman thing a lot because i like batman but like this isn't batman like the, some of the bc rich batarang guitars uh sponsor me <coughs> bc rich sponsor me um this is like a lightning bolt um it fits really nice in your lap the trash can's not in the way. Um, see, you can see right there it's black and my clothing is black. But it fits really nice in your lap. Um, let's see, what do we got? 12, 15, 17, 19, 20. Mm, one and a half breaths, that's right. I'm having trouble mathing today. I mean, maybe that's because I failed high school algebra all four years of high school, but. I don't know. I'm not that kind of doctor. It has 21 and a half frets, uh, maple, that's actually rosewood, fretboard. They know maple. No, no, mm, mm, mm. They know maple. The cool part about this guitar is on the um, fretboard, it has the inlays that are V's. I guess it's like, yeah, V's. Not, that's not a V, but you get what I'm saying. The 12th fret is a razor, like a razor blade, because Dimebag Daryl used to wear a razor blade on his neck. Um, but the Razorback, it's got the, the signature Dean Get Your Wings kind of V headstock, but instead it's more of like the two lightning bolts are fusing, fusion ha together. I like Dragon Ball Z, it's a joke. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, they're fusion ha together to become that. And on the back of the headstock, it has a serial number. And it's got the good old one and only old Daryl right there, giving his... Woohoo, get your pull. Um, of course, this guitar does have a Floyd Rose on it. As you can see in the back, got some springs. Um, right here, and your, your tuners and everything, which I did a review on how to play a Floyd Rose, which I'll link in the description. If you don't know what you're doing, check that out. I was featured in Ultimate Guitars, uh, Top 100 list of how to play guitar. Check it out. It's cool. Everyone says I suck, but I mean, are you on that list? No, you're not. All right. Let's get into the actual review here. Like I said before, it's got 21 and a half frets, it has a flood rose, and it has one thing most guitars I have here do not have. It has seven strings. That's a one, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven strings. So what does that mean, seven strings? Well, it has your standard six string guitar, but it has an extra string on it. So if you look at, at, at the um, headstock here, you have one, two, three, which is seven, six in the fifth string, and on this side you have four, three, two, one. It has seven strings. But why does it have seven strings? Well, as music progressed, so did the heaviness and obscenities and bad words and gun violence and everything else that Congress blames for our problems. Um, the guitar added another string, and now there's a string and twelve string and I'm pretty sure there's like 32 string guitars, but I do not recommend you play those because if you're going away from six string guitars, either you're a badass or you're an idiot or both. Um, but you know, that's just my opinion. If you don't like it, we'll close the video. What does this guitar have that other Razorbacks don't have? Seven strings. 
Um, as far as Razorback goes, uh, I've had several Razorbacks. Um, this is the only one I currently own. I had the I had the Dime Bolt Lightning one. I've had the uh, the lime green black one, and I've had the fiery one too. But I ended up selling them because I like money, and I buy them. I buy low, and I sell high, and that's the American way. And if you don't like it, well, you can go back to Africa. So um, there are two double humbuckers. They are both passive pickups. They're not active. They are not any kind of special Seymour Duncan's like come on the uh, the Dixie Rebel over here or the Washburns or any of the Zach Wild guitars that I have. Um, they are your standard garden variety Dean double humbucker, you know, double coil pickups. Um, it has two volume knobs, that's one for each pickup, a tone knob, and the uh, good old whammy bar and your Floyd Rose down here with the fine tuners. If you don't know what that is, I'm not going to explain it to you. Look it up on your own time. So you're probably wondering how it sounds. It sounds like this. All right, the video is over. You guys go back living your lives. I'm kidding. I usually don't kid, but. So let's check it out. We're down here on the bridge pickup first. Try that again on the neck pickup instead of the neck. I see there's no reason to use it at all. Unless you got like Corey Taylor who's got this huge neck and he's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna do these things. I got a big old neck, boy. I'm gonna do my big old neck things, boy. The seventh string sounds like it sounds evil.
you haven't by now, you've got the idea that I know what I'm doing when it comes to dive bombing. And that's why you should check out my video on how to dive bomb. So, why would you buy a Dean Dime Razorback 7 string? I wouldn't. Not because I already bought one, but if you're at the level where you're playing 7 and 8 string or 10 string guitars, well, goddamn, I can't help you, neither can Jesus. But you've mastered something that I don't care to master because guitars should have six strings. And yeah, you may like chord, and yeah, you may like some of these other bands that have a very <laughs> bassy sound, but if you want to play bass, guess what? They have bass guitars. You should fucking buy your own goddamn bass guitar instead of fucking destroying your guitar amp to play a 7, 8, 9, 12 octagonal string guitar because that's your problem and that's your prerogative. But I don't think guitars need 7, 8, 25 strings. They need 6 strings. A 7 string guitar is not terrible. But it is a very big departure from a six-string guitar and what six-string guitars stand for. All in all, if you're buying a Razorback, I recommend you buy a normal six-string dime Razorback. The seven strings are more expensive and they are harder to find. If you like seven-string guitars, if you like dime bag barrel, if you want a whammy bar, you should get a dime seven-string. I do make eight strings. I'm pretty sure they make ten strings. And if I'm wrong, well, laugh at me and tell me in the comments. The fact of the matter is, I don't recommend anyone buy this guitar. The neck is very, very thick. I reviewed the BC Rich Kerry King KKV guitar, which I no longer have because I sold it. But you can check out, I'll link that in the description below. You can check it out. This guitar, like, I, I said that the, the KKV was like touching an elephant's penis. This is, this is way worse. Like, sideways. I have some big hands, but like I, I have a hard time gripping it. This is much wider than the KKV was, and it's much thicker than the KKV was. The KKV was a very thick guitar, not compared to some of these, you know, Epiphone or Gibson Les Pauls, where the neck is just like, you know, you're choking some kind of anaconda. Because at the end of the day, you want to play what's comfortable. You want to play what feels good. And honestly, if I had known more about guitars before I bought this guitar, I wouldn't have bought this guitar. Because this is the first guitar I bought with a whammy bar. And I've, obviously, I've mastered the whammy bar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so nice. But, the problem is, unless you are playing chugga 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 choo choo death metal, you don't need to buy a 7 string guitar, you can do just fine with your garden variety 6 string, Dean, Dime, Washburn, uh, don't buy a Fender, um, at least not for this kind of music. I don't like Ibanez, I don't like, um, I mean Schecter's are pretty good. Um, I've never owned a Schecter guitar, I've played a few of them, but I would recommend getting a, Sch a Schecter 7 before you get a Dime, or a Dean 7 string. For the sheer fact is all they're doing is they slap Dimebag Daryl's name and moniker and get you pull on something to make money. And to me that is unethical unethical for the sheer fact is that they're whoring out someone else's image and intellectual property to make money. And at the end of the day, yeah, money pays the bills and money feeds you and money buys you toilet paper so you can wipe your ass, but that's not why you get into business. You get into business to sell quality products to people. And yes, this is a quality product. This is a great guitar. It is a very heavy guitar. It's a very hard guitar to play and a hard guitar to master. But if you're a master debater, then I don't have to tell you that. Um, I get this guitar a 5 out of 10. Not because it's missing support here for these things because I bought it used. But because one, it's heavy. It's got to weigh at least 10 pounds. I'm a big old boy and I'm not worried about it. Um, the Floyd Rose on it is pretty good. I don't have an issue with it. I don't play it much for the sheer fact that I don't like seven string guitars other than it's black. Um, 
just having fun. Um, it is wide, it is thick, it is hard to play. Uh, compared to my Dixie Rebel, uh, and then I have a Dean Vendetta right here. That's basically the same setup as this, but a smaller neck, a slimmer neck, uh, six strings. I would not want to... Change gear, bro. It'll, it won't hurt you. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just preference. But would I buy another one of these? No. Six stream one, yeah. Um, the pickups in it, which are the base, bottom of the line, Dean double humbuckers, they're not great. Um, you're not going to be playing any concerts in Madison Square Garden with these. Um, I do not like active pickups, EMGs, whatever, even the Seymour Duncan ones. Um, the tone and the quality is just fine, depending on the strings you have. I'm using, I think, like a, a DR7 uh, string what 10 gauge I don't know I don't even know what the last string is on gauge wise or element OP wise but it's a very big guitar like I'm a 6'5 and uh, standing up straight it comes up past my belly button which is right here it comes up you know right under my right at my stomach line right where my breast chest start um, very heavy guitar probably weighs about 10 pounds um, even the six string ones are pretty heavy. It's a big old block of wood. You know, it's made by Dean. It shows you it's made by Dean. It's got the Dean Dime Razorback at the top, remember? The headstock. Um, I'm going to put jacks right there. It's a very big guitar. It's not something that someone who just learned how to play guitar or is learning how to play guitar wants to buy unless you sit down. Yes, it has straps. Yes, you can wear it, but. Do you want 10 pounds pulling down on you like, hoo, hoo, hoo. No, I don't want that. And I can handle it. So the fact of the matter is that I have other guitars. Like, if you're playing with a strap and you're playing standing up, you're going on tour, you're playing shows and with the uh, latest strain of the, the koof, moof, woof, bar souf. You ain't going to be doing any of that. But, um... Overall, I do not recommend this guitar. If you are a seven string prodigy and you can, uh, with your toes and then blow your nose, good. Great. I can't do that. Um, I'm not really worried about it, but I'm trying to help other people who might buy one of these guitars who are curious about these guitars and that's my thing is I'm trying to help you get the most for your money um, you know check out pawn shops check out off route check out Craigslist Facebook marketplace any place where you can buy a used item uh, they do sell these brand new uh, don't know why you pay retail for anything but that's your business at the end of the day the guitar is solid it's going to last it's going to be a good investment um, all of the dime stuff that his name is on goes for a lot of money. And like, you know, I paid three hundred dollars for one of these Dixie Rebels five or six years ago and it's worth like three grand now. So hey ain't selling it. It's not for sale. Don't freak out. But if I wanted to, you know, the, the return on investment's insane. Um other than that, I don't have a lot to say. Um it other than the neck is very thick. It is hard to grasp, it's hard to play, especially if you're going from six string to seven string, which is a very rough transition because I've been playing guitar for, let's say 15 years or more. And playing this, I question what I'm doing, but the sheer fact is there's seven string instead of six and everything is different and it sounds different and it feels different. And I, I lose my mind. Um, it does have the fucking whammy bar here, uh, the fine tuners, and the Floyd Rose. It's a great system. Other than that, not much else to say. Um, have any questions, comment them. I'll answer your questions. I try to answer every single question that I get, unless you're just trolling me, and then, you know, you can go back to Africa. Uh, I'm Dash Cool, and I uh, hope to see you next time. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm not begging you, but I mean, 
subscribe. I make other videos. I have other videos, like I said. I will link in the description below. Um, I have tutorials. I have everything. Even got your mom wants to be pal. This is Dash Cool, and I will see you next time.